Radio Stoke. It's three minutes to nine now, just before the news. I don't think we've got time for this. Up in the morning and out to school. The teacher is teaching the golden rule. That's right, it's Educating Peter for Thursday morning, February the 2nd. We do it every Thursday. We go off and the pupils from a school somewhere in Staffordshire and South Cheshire uh, try and educate me, which basically just ends up with me looking foolish. This morning, uh, we are at Sambach Boys School. BBC Radio Stokes, Phil McCann is there. Morning, Phil. Morning, Pete. I don't think we've ever done Educating Peter from a grander location. Really? Guess what room of the school I'm in. Just cool. go and guess, a, a normal school kind of room. What uh, room the music room. Music room, no, no, I'm in the chapel. Really? Yes, I'm in the chapel, Marley of course, Cordes. yes. Uh, with um, big, big sturdy wooden pews, oh. as you can hear, uh, with the altar right at the end of the room. Um, it's an extremely grand building as well, um, compared to perhaps um, some of the schools around. It's just, it's very nice. Not, I'm not saying anything bad about any other schools. It's an amazing building to be in, lovely and, and gothic looking from the outside with beautiful green grounds uh, surrounding it. Right, I'm here with four boys from Year 7, this being a boys' school. Um, I'm here with... Oliver, George, Scott, Lewis. Oliver, George, Scott and Lewis. So, after 9 o'clock, Pete, uh, you're going to be asked about Roman history, which I know you like. Love it. Um, biology. Um, and it's a very specific answer you'll need to give. So, uh, of course, I hope you've been um, revising your biology. Yeah, always. Um, geography. And I know your favourite subject, PE. Oh, goodness me. Right, okie doke then. We shall be back with Phil at Sandbach Boys School with a question from Oliver, George, Scott and Lewis. We'll see how we get on. With Pete Morgan, BBC Radio Stoke. Good morning, welcome. It's uh, BBC Radio Stoke. Thursday morning, February the second. Pete Morgan with you through until ten. On the way, music from Coldplay and Cool and the Gang. We are back at Sandbatch Boys School to find out just what questions I'm going to be facing with educating Peter. And we're still taking your calls, uh, wanting to know when have you been scammed? We heard about Helen from Nantwich lost several hundred pounds from a distraction test. Technique. But before any of that, we're doing this. Up in the morning and out to school. The teacher is teaching the golden rule. It's educating Peter. We go to a school somewhere across Staffordshire and South Cheshire, and the pupils there try and educate me in some way. Coming at me today, we are at Sandbach Boys School, uh, BBC Radio Stokes. Phil McCann is there. Phil, good morning. You just missed the Year 7s here at Sandbach School dancing to the jingle, Pete. <laughs> Gutted. Uh, this is my favourite location, I think, that we've ever done educating Peter from. I mean, a chapel. I mean, the school's chapel. I'm just knocking on the wooden pews. Uh, as I look out of the stained glass window, I can see the lovely wooded ground that the school lies in, in the middle of Sandbach. What a fantastic location to be doing educating Peter from. Uh, sitting at the end of the chapel, the other end of the chapel to where the altar is, I am with... Lewis, Scott, Oliver, George. It's Oliver over there, by the way. Uh, all, all Year 7 pupils, uh, as you mentioned, a very rich plethora of different subjects. Um, let's get the first one, which is on Roman history. Uh, where's Lewis? Yep. According to legend, who founded Rome in 753 BC? So not 754 BC, 753. Uh, Oliver. How many bones are there in the adult human body? The adult human body. How many bones? Bones. Uh, Scott. Right. What is the capital city of Australia? The capital city of Australia and George. I think you'll know that one, Pete. You know those kind of things. And George. How many gold medals did Britain win in the Beijing, Beijing 2008 Olympics? <laughs> How many medals did Britain win in Beijing 2008? Uh, right, OK. Uh, I'm not really confident about any of them. You're right. I mean, the the, the, the capital city of um, Australia, I think I should be all right with. Mm. If you As don't get that, I would be embarrassed. Right, exactly. <laughs> hey, that happens on a weekly basis. Right, we will be back at Sandbach Boys School in around about four minutes' time. As always, I don't look up the answers on the internet. I just try and... Just try and sort them out in my own little mind. 
I'm just thinking now about the, the capital city of Australia. Didn't we have this on something the other day? There was this last week as well. OK. All I'm going to do is think back seven days. Uh, and we'll be back at Sandbach Boys School after this. Coldplay and Paradise at BBC Radio Stoke. When she was just a girl She expected the world She ran away in a sleep. Coldplay in Paradise at BBC Radio Stoke. It's uh, 13 minutes past nine. So we are doing Educating Peter. We go to uh, a different school across Staffordshire and South Cheshire, and the pupils there try and teach me something. Um, I just want to apologise because I, I believe I called it Sandbach High School a little bit earlier on, and a couple of people were getting excited. It's not like Sandbach Boys School, um, which is where we are this morning uh, with BBC Radio Stokes. Phil McCann, good morning, Phil. Good morning, Pete. You join me from the chapel at <coughs> Sandbach School, which you rightly pointed out is the boys' school, not the yes. girls' school. That did cause a bit of confusion yesterday. Mm. Nearly went to the wrong place. Uh, we've just been trying. I mean, the chapel, by the way, uh, I mentioned before, the grandest location from which we've ever, ever done an educating <laughs> Pete. To school halls, headmasters offices um, it's also probably the nicest school building we've ever done it from, even compared to the modern ones. Uh, we're in the chapel there is an organ in the corner, we've been trying to make it work, it's an electric one it doesn't seem to want to though, so just for now I'll, I'll give you this so that's, that's me pressing on the keys. That's good, excellent, yes. Yeah. There we go. So I just thought I wanted to give you a flavour of the chapel that we're in this morning, and I hope that kind of did the trick. It did. Right. Um, as you mentioned before, there were lots of questions for you. Uh, they were delivered by Lewis, Oliver, Scott and George. And the first one was on Roman history. Yep. Uh, Lewis, just remind us what it was, what the question was this time. According to legend, who founded Rome in 753 BC? Now, unfortunately, I went to Rome last, no, not last year, the year before, and I did the very touristy thing of going round and getting on buses and following other parties of people with flags in the air, waving me through and giving me history. So you should know. It's Romulus and Remus. Romulus and Remus? Yes. Come Romulus on! And Remus. Come on! But he had been to Rome. So it's um. kind of like looking out the window, really, isn't it? Um, it was, yes. OK, one point to Pete. Yes. Uh, Oliver, with a biology question. Oh, Oliver, hang on. Hang, here we go, Oliver, with a biology question. Yeah. How many bones are there in the human, adult human body? I don't think I've got this right. It's a bit of a guess. I think it's 250. <sighs> 250? That's wrong. The answer is 206. 206. And you've got an adult human body as well, Pete. Exactly. You think I could, I could have counted that while Coldplay <laughs> went on? Uh, OK, uh, geography question with Scott. What is the capital of Australia? Um, it's Canberra. Canberra. Yep, you got it right. Yeah, there's no kind of deliberating with that, unfortunately. There you go. Well done. Uh, yes. And George, and this is a PE question. <laughs> How many gold medals did Britain win in the Beijing 2008 Olympics? Because this is make or break, because if I get this right, mm. this means I've won. Oh, I believe it. I am going to say gold medals at the Beijing Olympics. I'm going to say 12. This is make or break, everybody, don't forget. If Pete wins this, he's won the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> the number that Pete said was 12. George, what is the real answer? It's 19. Oh! Yay! Everyone's put their arms... You have to celebrate loudly, everyone. Yay! They're all putting their arms up, Pete. <laughs> so Sandbach School can be proud this morning. Well, actually, it's not, not really that much to be proud of, I suppose. But. What do you mean? Of course it is. I okay. was doing very well there. That was half and half. Well done. Every, everybody, well done to Pete for nearly winning but not. Yeah. Well, done. well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, all right. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks, uh, Lewis, Oliver, <laughs> Scott and George. Thanks very much, BBC Radio Stokes. Phil McCann there as well. Sandbach Boys School is where we were this week. We'll be back at another school next week for another educating Peter.